Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of RigTech. In today's episode, I am going to discuss about tool joint identifier. This is the tool joint identifier. The main purpose is to identify the API rotary shoulder connections. And this tool joint identifier have a lot of features. Uh, we can identify the TPI thread per inch. It's up to six inch scale reading and mm is 0 to 150 mm and the details of interchangeable connections Main feature is to identify the API rotary shoulder connections. That is the main objective of tool joint identifier. So low torque modified connection details also included, but the low torque modified connection we cannot identify through the through direct to the tool joint but we have to measure the counter bore uh, through the API ruler and we can uh, cross check with uh, uh, this dimensional data. On all other, all other connections we can identify through the tool joint identifier. How to take a counter bore and taper dia we uh, discussed in earliest episode. It's a simple way uh, for counter bore dia to place the tool joint identifier directly to box counter bore and, and try to get the maximum uh, diameter then uh, cross check the approximate coincidence connections Approx approximate connections on the uh, maximum counterpoint diameter And if have uh, any ID bevel or uh, internal chamfer on counter bore, we have to measure to exclude the internal ID bevel or chamfer. That means you know inside the counter bore there is a chamfer. 
Sometimes it will get uh, 1 by 32 or 1 by 30 or 1 by 64 inch width. Sometimes uh, some machinists or some manufacturers they are making 1 by 60 or um, more than 1 by 32 inch uh, chamfer width. So that time if you included the chamfer will get more than 1 by 16 inch difference. So we, we our judgment will be wrong. So have any internal chamfer, you have it to avoid that internal, internal chamfer for to get the accurate connection. The counterbolt dia for both sides and the pin side is a taper dia or two scale a place along with the thread on both sides, uh, left and right side and measure the, the scale touching point where scale is touching there you can put marking or measure the, through the OD caliper that diameter that is the taper dia. This two method can use to identify the connections. In um, tool joint identifier, there have a uh, marking how to measure the uh, connection. Box said how to measure and thing said how to measure. Box said how to measure and thing said how to measure and on this side you have a cut a small cut the depth of the cut is uh, 1 by 16 inch that is the tolerance of uh, taper dia and uh, counterboard dia. You are going to measure the counterboard dia. You can place the scale directly into counterboard and uh, adjust to the maximum counterboard. Uh, you can get it the connection. If you are going to take the dimension on pin side, uh, you place uh, two scale on parallel to the connection. After that, you measure that diameter, scale to scale diameter. If you can, if you have a marker, you can mark it one place and another place you can also mark it. After that, you can measure with, uh, with the OD caliper. So, uh, you can get it the connection. A lot of manufacturers are uh, uh, manufacturing tool joint identifier. You can buy in online. This, if you have a tool joint identifier, no worry about the API connections. And uh, this is uh, for uh, new tech manufacturer is uh, new tech, and uh, Drillco is also manufacturing. Innovi is also uh, manufacturing. Lot of companies, a lot of local brands are, are easily available in the market. And this tool joint identifier, I already discussed uh, TPI, five TPI. 5 thread per inch mainly in regular connections and uh, 4 TPI, 4 thread per inch that is TPI for IF connections and uh, 3 and a half this mainly for Hughes connections, H90 uh, connections. Majority of uh, tool joint identifier have included 
and the uh, uh, interchangeable connections. Majority of uh, interchangeable connections are uh, absoluted from the industry. Now all the connections are under the numbered connections. Thank you. Thank you for watching Rick Tech.